Hey guys, it's Rogue Garage here, and today I've got a new video, and I'm doing an engine um, teardown sort of rebuild. Um, I picked this engine up two weeks ago. Um, it was out of an E90. It's only got 100,000 Ks on the motor. Um, it was sitting in Guy's shed for a few years, so it's got a little bit of rust that's come on the valve cover. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a full teardown and see what the bottom end looks like. If the uh, conrod bearings... Uh, have play or anything like that then I'm going to have to replace them um, and then just sort of see what the whole overall engine looks like because it's potentially got a little bit of rust um, built up in it. Okay guys so I've taken the valve cover off and I've discovered that the um, camshaft has a bit of surface rust that has sort of started on it and it doesn't look too good in the overall head there's a lot of um, sludge sort of built up but it might be okay for uh, for me to use for parts. Um, Luckily I've got a head that I've done a full port and polish on and that I'm probably going to be using um, on this bottom end if the bottom end's in good condition. Um, I've also got a set of springs, high performance springs that I'm going to use for the head but I need to get them pressed into the head um, and I'll put the link in the description. These are these um, performance springs here for the Tui. Um, so they're pretty good for NA um, motors or... Uh, turbo motors, the 65 pounds seated and they go to 170 at 10.5mm uh, lift. Um, they're done by an Australian company um, and yeah, you'll, I'll link it all into the description so you can find them if you want to buy them. They're relatively cheap considering if you wanted to get them custom built they'd be around about you know sort of four to five hundred dollars um, and they're around about sort of two hundred dollars um, shipped which is not bad and that's New Zealand dollars. Okay, so I've taken all off the head and I've had a look at all the bores and stuff. The engine is in not too bad condition. There's a little bit of rust and stuff that's formed on the bores, but the overall bores haven't got any deep sort of scratches or anything, so it means that the um, the piston rings are not in bad condition. There's a lot of carbon build up on the top of the um, pistons. It's got the head gasket that's sort of mounted on there, so I'll have to get it all um, off and then get the bottom end um, skimmed. Um, so the head also isn't in the best condition. Um, as you can sort of see, there's a lot of carbon sort of build up on the valves. The valves should be um, not that bad. That's got a huge amount of um, cake sort of built up on that. That's almost a mil on one of the... Um, valves there. The small intake valve here also has a lot of sludge built up as you can sort of see and also um, on the valve here and that's got an indentation and that's almost flat. Um, also moving on to these sort of valves here they're not in the best condition. The whole sort of head's been very very caked up um, so this head here is definitely just going to be used for parts and the valves probably scrapped um, which is a little bit of a shame. So I've just pulled off the oil pan and I'm just having a look at it at the moment and the bottom of the oil pan where the drain is is very very rank. There's a lot of sludge build up um, so I'd definitely say the engine hasn't been taken care of that well. Um, and then moving up into the bottom of the block we're just having a look at all the um, crank and all the rod bearings. Um, I've tried to wiggle all these and just see if there's any play and at the moment there's no play in all of them but in the pickup I noticed that there's a lot of rank stuff and if you notice that piece right there is like a hunk of something so I'm not too sure what's going on there it's definitely not that good and that just dropped down into the engine that's all good I'm gonna to have to clean it anyways um, so the whole engine's gonna need a complete rebuild I'm gonna so my overall purpose for doing this engine rebuild is to get this ready for my car um, my green one did a turbo blow through carbureted setup. So I've got this setup uh, over here, which is one of the heads that I've put and polished. And as you can see, this is one of the gaskets. So what I've done is I've um, set it all up so it's completely port matched to that heat gasket. And then I've went all the way into the cylinders and got those almost completely um, grinded out and now I'm going in here and I'm going into the head and completely grinding the head um, cylinders out so it's going to lower the compression so I can get a lower compression ratio which will be good for doing turbo motors 
so that's its stock and that's modified and I've also done it to the intake um, manifold as well just using this gasket here um, and then I use all the other gaskets I have for doing the engine rebuild so that's a full gasket kit and then all the pistons and then I have the piston rings and then I have all the uh, rod bearings and then I have a CTO 9 that I'm going to cut uh, right back here and then weld the flange that comes onto there out of a 2 inch piece of steel and then I'm going to cut this and shorten this so it brings it up lower